So October is the month of surprises and it's the month of renewal. Glory be to God alone. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with the prophecy, with the prophetic word, with the good news, so that you shall be blessed in the month of October 2024. Yes, indeed, the Lord God shall surprise you. And during my prayers, the Lord said this to me. And I am going to share that with you. And we are going to have a wonderful October this year. So the points, there are nine points which I have written it down. And uh, during my prayers, during the praise and worship, the Lord spoke to me many things in detail. But in this video, we are going to see how the month of October is going to surprise you. Yes, we love surprises and here are these prophecies for this month that will surprise you. The first thing the Lord told me is this, the month of October 2024 will surprise you. Yes, you had been waiting for this. I want surprises. I want to be astonished and stunned. So this is the month of October where you shall be stunned because his glory shall be renewed. We have the second prophecy which the Lord spoke to me is the same. It says this is the month of renewal. So October is the month of surprises and it's the month of renewal. Glory be to God alone. Going deeper and explaining how this renewal will happen, how the Lord God shall surprise you. We have the third prophecy which says, there shall be new plans. There shall be new plans, says the Lord, new dreams and visions, new visions and new people. So you will have new plans, new things working, new ideas, renewal of your dreams. So earlier you want that car, that small house, you wanted to stay in that small town, but now the Lord God shall renew your mindset, renew your dreams because of your faith. Everything happens because of your faith. You move from faith to faith. The level of faith that you will have this month will bring the change. So you will have the renewal in the dreams and you will have the visions going deeper. You will extend your visions. You will extend your thought process. And during this, when you are becoming limitless, the Lord God says that you will meet new people. So as you extend your territory of within, in your heart you must say, no, Lord, this is not enough. I want some more. I want to go deeper. I want to extend my territory of myself, my within during that time. When you want to become more and more prosperous, when you want to meet the prosperous people, not the same old mindset, when you yourself want to grow, then you will meet new people. So renewal will happen from within. It comes from within. You must say, Lord, I want to go must much deeper and you must go deeper, says the Lord. This is what the God showed me. Then we have another word which is related, the prophecy. One more thing the Lord showed me is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 and verse 18. The old is gone, you are the new creation. Hallelujah, glory be to God alone. 2 Corinthians in the book of prophecy, chapter 5, verse 17. The NIV version says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The new creation has come, glory be to God alone. The old has gone, the new is here. Verse 18 says, all this is from God. This is not by yourself. This is from God, the Christ within you. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The ministry of reconciliation. We'll talk about this. We'll know about this much deeper in some other video. But you must know that you are born again for ministry of reconciliation. The fifth prophecies are that you shall have new breakthroughs. And the Lord said that many of them, so there shall be many breakthroughs, all new, all new things. It's not the same thing as old. So there shall be many of new breakthroughs. 
we have the sixth prophecy. It says, new life, new beginning, new faithfulness, newness of joy. Your joy shall also be renewed. New things revealed. Yes, the revelation has already begun. We have the revelation of the seven spirits of God. We have the revelation of the sign of prophet Jonah. If you scroll back to the videos on this prophetic channel, you will know that the Lord God has already started revealing the end time prophecies. His will for the end time during the end time and for his people. Now we have the seventh prophecy. It says, for this renewal, you will have new connections. So you will build new connections. They will come to you because the word of God also says, it has come to you. The newness has come to you. So it's coming to you. Like I always say that be there where you are. You don't have to look for anything. You don't have to search. It will come to you. The grace of God comes. The love of God comes. His compassion comes. Hallelujah. All that you have to do is to look towards him, to look at him. Look at heaven above and it will come. Hallelujah. So for this, new connections will come and the old connections that you don't want, they shall be either removed or renewed. If you don't want, they shall be removed. If you want them and there should be some correction in your relationship, so they shall be renewed. So there shall be this renewal made in the old relationships, old connections as well. We have eighth prophecy. You're moving to new places. If you're tired of the same old place, the same old country, the same old location, and the same people all around you, the same type of culture, tradition, the same type of talking, they are not talking to you from the word of God. If you want fellowship, the Lord God says that you shall move to new places, new homes, and new dimensions in the prophetic. Yes, we all need new dimensions in the prophetic. We need prophetic lifestyle. Prophetic when you are cooking food, when you are sleeping, when you are even bathing, when you're shopping, when you're doing your work, when you are starting your business for the new ideas, for your relationships, for all these things, we need prophetic. And of course, we can't miss on the ministry. Prophetic is the ministry. So you need prophetic ministry. You need the ministry of reconciliation for your day-to-day -day life. It should be your lifestyle. That's how you are the Christian. You are the follower of Christ. When you have the ministry of reconciliation, the ministry of the prophetic. Then the ninth prophecy for this month is new anointing new oil and of course new faith without new faith without your faith being renewed how can you prosper so these prophecies are based on the renewal of your faith the anointing that you receive for renewal of the anointing you must obey the prophets the prophets they reveal what is going on in the kingdom of god and the will of god we thank the lord for this prophecies for this month of october and this month will surprise you indeed. We thank the Lord for this wonderful, wonderful prophecies. And I pray and I also bless you with the renewal of your faith because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Alleluia. Glory be to God alone. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 
My beloved ones, with the small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.